April woke up before sunrise and walked the fields in darkness. The dawn came and the sun rose. I am here, she called out. Take me to heaven, I am ready. April was a religious woman. Her life revolved around Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I want to go to heaven now. April opened her heart to God. She wanted wings like an angel. Love me, God, I beseech you, she called out to the sky. April felt the light, the joy of the Heavenly Father and Jesus. She felt the joy of laughter. She felt happiness in the hands of the Creator. Running through the grass, she imagined herself in the arms of Jesus. Years ago, when she was just 16, she started walking the wheat fields, convinced that Jesus was close by. Now, a voice thundered from the sky, Have no fear and enter into the kingdom. I love you, she cried out, her arms floating, her body bathed in light. She could feel the heat of the Lord in her heart, in her soul. April looked to the sky and thought, Have you come for me? Have you come for me, Jesus? She used to look up to the sky as a child, searching for answers. Now, suddenly, April had wings, and she made her way into the clouds to heaven. Master, she said, I have arrived. I am here to serve you. April could feel herself in the arms of the Lord. She opened her eyes, and there stood Lord Jesus. Have no fear, child, said Jesus. I am not afraid, O Lord, said April, moving closer. And now she was very close, but Jesus did not kiss her. Jesus said, No, child, you have thoughts that don't belong here. You are not ready. And then Jesus vanished, and April felt her wings on fire. Lord, I thought you loved me. But there was no reply. Down, down, down she fell, through the abyss of stars, falling, falling, until she landed softly in an unknown realm and passed out. When she woke, April had a feeling. She knew she had been cast out to hell. Her great wings were echoes of their former splendor, her feathers burning. And then her wings were gone. Lucifer, Lord of Darkness, became April's only friend. And when she was alone, April wept for everything she had lost. And then, her breathing slowing, she opened her eyes. She was in bed, her own bed. The whole thing had been a nasty dream. Thank God, she thought, thank God. April opened the scriptures, opened it to the Gospel of John. She must, she decided, love Jesus as the apostles did, as a friend. And so, with hope in her heart, April began a new chapter of her life.